everyone, I'm Hugo. And I'm Jake. And happy Halloween, everyone. We're back to do another Halloween chick tract. We're running out, so get on it, Jack. We were going to wear masks, but we decided that our face were spooky enough. Hold on, I can get a costume together in, in like five seconds if, if you want. All right, movie magic. Uh, I'm that douchebag from Back to the Future. You know the one. Biff? No, the one of his friends. Anyway, today we're doing the trick. It's about witches or something. It's discontinued, so I assume it's pretty horrible. So... Buckle in. Let's just... Let's go. Yay. Yeah. Enthusiasm. Here we go. One month before Halloween. Brothers and sisters, as you know, Halloween will soon be here. This is a very important time to our most holy and glorious father, Satan. This holy day was designed for us by our father so that we can provide additional sacrifices to him. Yeah, the sac sacrifices are necessary for our cleansing. Everyone knows this. You guys, you guys have gone through training. There's no need to repeat all this. Uh, it's, it's some OSHA thing, I'm sorry, just let, bear, bear with me. Uh, then our father can again smile upon us with his true love and blessing. Our holy sister, her highness, sister Charity, will explain in more detail for your assignment. You know what, basically, just everyone fill out the paper that's in front of you with the, the time and date of this. Say that you went through the training, I'll sign off on them. Fuck HR. My beloved brothers and sisters, listen carefully. This is important, and I will only tell you once, and I don't mean like, oh, I'll tell you once, and then if you ask me, I'll say again. I mean once. I'm not putting up with a bullshit, Jeremy. Not this time. Calf? Calf? Can I? I told you. Can we level with when you When we are here, second. my name is Mother of Darkness. Okay, Mother of Darkness, a.k.a. Calf, who works in operations. Calf. Nobody is excited about this. You don't have to do this in care. Like, this, this, did you just get done binging the office? Is this your Michael Klump? I have told- We don't need this. I have told everyone when in the facilities, we must have creepy voices. This is what I got. We're moving on. Next item on the agenda. Over the past few years, we have been successful in providing our father with a number of sacrifices. But this year, we need more. We also- Okay, this is a budget. This is a budget thing. It's We need more. Okay. He demands it up from on high or low. He's Satan. We also need to prepare for more children to worship and serve our father. <clears throat> okay, you're, you're each going to get your special assignment from the priestess or priests. Uh, it's, it depends on your, your team. It doesn't matter. Can we stop now? We will use the following techniques. <laughs> my, my accent went, sl swung a little bit. N I don't know what it was, but it wasn't creepy voice anymore. It was, it was, uh, I don't know. It sounded like a weird owl thing. It's like someone who was, uh, born and raised in an Ikea. Not really any nationality, <laughs> but it's not really English either. <laughs> and, <laughs> and affordable. In order to obtain more blood for our master, some of you will continue to plant razor blades, crushed glass, pins, etc. into various, air quotes, treats. The total sacrifices will be obtained by injecting our special poisons and drugs into the treats. Basically, we're going to murder a bunch of kids. This is standard procedure. It happens all the time. I think there are like four verified cases of this ever. It's It happens all the time. I be afraid. I feel the need to point out... That historically, this has never really happened ever. The whole razor blades and medication and stuff in the candy doesn't happen. The only times it's happened, one time I know it was an uncle um, who put drugs or something and the kid died. It's always been people who you know. So don't worry, strangers aren't trying to kill your kids. It's probably the people you love who want to rape and kill your kids. So don't worry about it. Don't sweat it. <laughs> don't sweat it. Unless you live with Uncle Bob. Then definitely, definitely sweat it. And if you're sweating too much... He probably gave you ecstasy and is about to rape you. The show Full House could have ended much darker than it did, is all I'm saying. Uncle Jesse? Joey. No adult yeah. man does that many Popeye impressions right. and isn't trying to get You're in right. kids' pants. Our father, Satan, also wants to bring many more children under his guidance and care. This year, we will concentrate more on the special incantations needed to place curses on the treats, which will influence us the children eating them. So they're gonna, they're gonna curse... We're gonna the candy, so kids want to worship Satan. But we're also gonna poison and 
Put razor blades in the candy. So we're going to kill the kids that worship Satan. No, they're two separate groups. We have group A and group B, and then we should probably have a group C, which will be the control group to find we out. We really, really should have invested in some in some visual aids for this presentation. Yeah, the, I, we spent all our budget on the cloaks, and honestly, I do think they add a visual effect, but honestly, yeah, we needed a PowerPoint or something. Next we need, like, even open office. Yeah. Just anything. Next quarter, we got a budget a budget a projector or something. Can you get on that, Clark? There's a Clark now. Later in October. Oh, Holy Father, please send your guiding demons upon these instruments so they may be used for your glory. It, oh, oh. And then there's a... I was, I was looking in the picture for, for an itemized list. Uh, and I found one. In the pentagram are bottles of poison, syringes, razor blades, broken glass, straight pins, bags of candy, etc. The etc. is added on there like, you guys know how this goes. Ha ha ha! Those kids will get an unexpected treat! Brenda, don't forget which of those candy bars are injected. Brenda? No, I'm... I'm Winona Ryder acting! No. <laughs> You're not no. You 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 are not as good as one one on a writer. You can't pull off Beetlejuice. You can't pull off uh, Stranger Things. You can't even pull off Alien Resurrection. Where's my kid? I this is what I chose for Halloween. Okay, you just gotta roll with it. Yeah, I can't wait until those little brats come to my door. Our father will bless us for this. You want to go shoplifting? I don't. No. It's a Winona Ryder joke. Oh. She went, she shoplifted in the early 2000s, like, a lot. Oh, that's weird. Do you remember that? No. You guys remember that reference? I guess. I guess that, that Beetlejuice I, money I... dries up quicker than you'd think. <laughs> well, she did it for the thrill. She never really needed the, the cash. Yeah. I knew a lady real life. True, true story. Stole a package of bacon from the store. Shoved it down her pants. Got caught. Bacon's like five. Turns out. Yeah, I know. It's, it's like five, five dollars like, like, for for quite a bit it. of bacon. She had a cart full of no. She the thing is, she bought a cart full of groceries, stole the bacon, mm. got caught. Maybe her money is Muslim, so it can't buy pork products. But she's cool with it. Halloween night. Three children prepare to go out trick or treating, also known as preparing to die. Now, Johnny, you be sure to go only to the neighbors on our block that you know and be home in an hour. It's, I've heard this before. Was mm. this a thing? Did people used to know their neighbors well enough where they're like, oh, only trick or treat at the people you know? I live in an apartment building with like 20 other people. I've never met one of them. If, if a kid came to my door, I wouldn't answer anyway because I hate kids. I'm just saying. What the fuck I mean, is this Halloween like, bullshit? You and I, you and I, you and I didn't really grow up in suburbs, to be fair. Even when we, I did though. Before I moved out to where you were, we did in more of a city area. Didn't know anyone. Don't. Yeah, but you're a hermit. That's different. Yeah. That's totally different. Like even when you were, like you came out of the womb with a long beard and a manifesto. It was all in Russian. It talked a lot about the proletariat. I don't even know what that means, but <laughs> so I'm good at the time. Hi, Susie. Hi, Jerry. Hi, John. Wi Wait, what? Is that a... Is, no, no, no. Screw Johnny for a second. Is that a witch costume? Yeah. <laughs> nice. <laughs> what, you, what you got under there? A, what do you mean? You're also like, you're also kind of like a wizard, though. Like you got this moon star... Yeah, it's they're both cloak, magical. Cloak they're very similar. You can have both. That's not... No. No, I think, you, I think you messed up. Also, I have a pumpkin bucket, and you have a paper bag. So, I mean, like, who won this round? <laughs> Hi, Johnny. My mom says we must not go to anyone's house that we don't know. Who is this? <laughs> we we must not go. Who is this kid? What are you talking? <laughs> we must not go. I am the wizard. We mustn't. We mustn't visit the neighbors. <laughs> we must not visit the strangers, so saith Manamarco, king of worms. Anyway, remember what happened to Bobby last year. Yeah, my mom said the same thing, but we're Jehovah's Witnesses, so I just took this sheet and snuck out. So I don't have a bag. Johnny, can I uh, borrow some of that bucket space? I don't think that paper bag is going to do it for me. I guess. Okay, let's go. I like that the implication is that uh, their friend probably died last year, but their parents are still <laughs> letting them go trick-or-treating. They're fine. It's fine. <laughs> it's the 80s. 
Trick or treat. Well, what do we have here? Do you like my witch? I'm Winona Ryder doing the witch thing. That's uh, that's kind of a confusing concept for a costume, if I'm being totally honest with you. But It's Winona Ryder when she's looking for a kid and reminiscing about the witch scene. Okay. I can do the finger thing. Can I, uh... Can we the... No. Okay. We have a witch, a ghost, and a devil. So take your pick of this candy that is totally not laced with rufalin and razor blades. Do you trust me? Uh, you have candy, so yeah, implicitly, actually. 30 minutes and several homes later. What's that? That's, ah, it's a child screaming. I like that, uh... Oh, I like it. Wait, hold on. Hold on, quiet down. Uh... All right, co come over here and help me tug one out. You know I can't reach. Uh... I've told, hey, dude, I told you, no, I'm not, yeah, you know I can't reach. No, I need you to, no, just, come on, we haven't, we haven't done any, we haven't been intimate in, in a decade. I'm a little concerned by the fact that you're turned on by the child screaming, and also the fact that we can identify a child's screams so easily, so. Emergency room! I'm sorry, Mrs. Dexter, we couldn't save Johnny. But Susie is in ICU, and Jerry is in surgery for the cuts in his mouth. Oh my god, Brenda, how could this happen? Our neighborhood. I mean, it, it happened last year too, according to the track, but I am shocked. Shocked! What a tragedy! That's, can you, can you stop doing your Winona, Winona Ryder witch thing? My kid is dying, so. Or no. I'm trying to lighten the mood! It's, uh... It's not working. I'm Spock's mom. Meanwhile, Sister Charity watches the late night news. A tragedy this Halloween night. Eight-year-old Johnny Dexter died as a result of a drug overdose in Halloween candy. Many children have been hospitalized in this city tonight. So if you are a pedophile, we are urging you not to rush to the hospitals where there are just... Handfuls of defenseless children lying in a bed without supervision. Yes, we have done well. Satan will be pleased with our accomplishments. Is that a goblet? It's a, no, I think it's just a wine glass. I oh, she's got a pinky out. It's probably a wine glass. You're right. <laughs> but God said, Thou fool, this night by thy soul shall be required of thee. My heart, I can't breathe, gasp. Does she get double-crossed? Yeah, I thought... Was that poison wine? Maybe. <laughs> Sister Charity was told she would rule and reign with Satan in hell, but would... <laughs> wait, wait, hold on. So that was just a heart attack yeah. from, like, a yeah. mid-30s woman. Yeah. Uh, they, said the red, oh. they said the red wine would help one glass a night. They were lying. Liars. Yeah. But would never be tormented. <laughs> Who is telling her this? Who does Jack th Chick is, thinks is going around and telling people, hey... You want to be a witch and worship Satan, you get to go to hell, but it'll be super rad hell. It's like a pyramid scheme, but you get to be on top. <laughs> I think it's that superhero demon. Maybe. On the other side there. He's got a cape. It's gotta be it. It's fucking cool, man. Holy father, I am I am burning. How can this be when I've served you so well? I mean, my God, this I've seen people burn alive before, and I was like, oh, you gotta be little pussies about it. But no, this hurts. This hurts a lot. <laughs> This is, <laughs> this is bad. <laughs> it looks like you survived breast cancer. You have nothing going on there. Oh, that's that's not very nice. I'm also burning. That was a burn and I'm burning. It's a double burn. Honestly, You I survived it for no reason. All of it was for nothing. You stupid little fool. You're getting what you deserve. My trick was getting you to serve me. I'm Satan, by the way. Yeah, I can see. I know I'm, sh I'm, well, I'm shadowed. It's a weird vacuum of light in this fire pit. Uh, but yeah. Now your tree is to burn for eternity. I gotta be honest, the enthusiasm is dying a lot just watching you flail around there. But you're not really screaming. It's actually. It's like half of what. It's half of what I wanted. Honestly, the more you, the more you're in here, it's not that bad. It actually gets kind of tolerable like, after about like a like like a hot tub. Yeah. Like when you dip your toe and you're like, ooh, too hot, and then you you get in there and you're burned for like five seconds, but then it feels like super nice. Yeah, it's actually not too bad. I could hang out here for a while. Yeah. Yeah. 
you want to come up on this uh, this rock that's basically the, the door that Jack wasn't allowed on in Titanic? Eh, not right now. Maybe later. No? All right. How'd you like my cape? Pretty cool? Uh, Naked with a cape. Not, uh, not a great look. Nice dick, though. Thank you. Barbed like a cat. Ten months after Johnny's death. Thanks for having us over, Brenda. I want you to meet my dear friend Becky from out of town. How nice to meet you! I'm practicing for next year, for next, well, two months from now. Uh-oh. I don't like this Becky. Her head looks like a popped popcorn kernel. <laughs> kind of making me hungry. I hope she's into people that eat hair, because I'm kind of thinking about it. <laughs> I can't understand what's happening to Susie. She's not the same little girl. She was so sweet, but now she's totally rebellious. I can't even get her to go to Sunday school anymore without a big fight. My Jerry is just the same. I don't know how to handle him anymore. Wait, was this supposed to be a ladies thing? I think it was supposed to be a lady, yeah. All right, uh... Can I finish the Cosmo? Love Cosmos. Yeah, but then you definitely need to leave. All right. That's fine. I get it. You know what I mean. I went through the same thing with my children. My deceased children. But it's just a phase. I don't think so, Brenda. Can anyone think of any major problem that occurred in Jerry or Susie's life recently? Like maybe a friend died on Halloween ten months ago? Mm, no. No, I, I remember it, it was Halloween, my Jerry was badly cut, and little Susie almost died from drugs put into a candy bar. That's it. That's the key. To what? Just, uh, I think, uh, I think I solved it. I know I'm from out of town, but I like to solve other people's problems, and, uh, you're welcome. So. What do you think you are, Becky, a psychiatrist, you cunt? Uh, nope. I'm an ex-witch. Now I serve Jesus. What? I an ex- <laughs> An ex-witch? I should have I should have suspected. That's a very common issue in this neighborhood. Let me very common. Let me tell you the truth about Halloween. I'm sure this Why are we what, what how are we on this subject? Just just let's just get this over with. I just outed you as a witch. What kind of witch? You know, the spooky kind. I'm a balls witch. I only do balls related spells. Not like just testicles, but like anything spherical. Halloween. Ball bearings? Basketballs? Footballs I can't do, which is weird. They're called balls, but they're they're oblong. It's can't get a hold of that one. Hand egg, anyway. It came from an ancient druid custom set up for human sacrifices on Halloween night. That sounds cool, popcorn head. Druids offered children in sacrifices. They believed that the only fruit of the body offered to Satan was for sin of the soul. Okay, I don't see a problem with this. The trick-or-treat custom was created by the druids. When they went to a home and demanded a child or virgin for sacrifices, the victim was the druid's treat. I'm sure- I have a question. Okay, go ahead. What, what if it was a slutty child? Yeah, then that's fine. That's good for the child and the druids then, so. Oh, okay. All right. I'm sure this holds up to scrutiny entirely, and that's not made up at all. So don't even bother looking that up, by the way. There's a pumpkin there. Yeah. Which is... Interesting. Which jack-o'-lanterns made of pumpkins were a later thing, but ignore that. In exchange, they would leave a jack-o'-lantern with a lighted candle made of human fat to prevent those inside from being killed by demons at human, night. H human fat? Yeah. Implying that they burn humans all the time just to make candles? Oh. Pig fat was very common. All their animal fat, sure. Lard in general. Not... Not this shit. Okay, I'm sorry. I didn't know. I, was, I didn't know before I told the story someone knew about ancient candle making techniques, so I'm actually kind of embarrassed. I made that part <laughs> up entirely, so... When some unfortunate couldn't meet the demands of the druids, then it was time for a trick. A symbolic hex was drawn on the door, as opposed to... A active hex, apparently. This one is just symbolic, so it's just graffiti. That um, okay. That night, Satan or his demons would kill someone. <laughs> in the home. Wait, ah, that's oh. that's not that's not a symbolic hex, then, right? So, if it's either we're gonna take one of your kids, 
and kill them or rape them or whatever. Or they're going to draw a hex on your thing that's going to have demons come and kill a kid anyway. So the lazy thing is just, fuck it, don't let them have the kids, spend some extra time <laughs> with them before Satan comes and kills them. Right. Or watch some Supernatural and figure out how to get yourself out of that situation. Sure. It helps to be Jensen Ackles. Oh, that was an ancient custom, but that's not our Halloween is all about. Our Halloween's about spookiness. And this witch finger. Wrong, Brenda. The same thing is going on today, only it's much more subtle. By subtle, do you mean non-existent? No, I mean I mean subtle. Like, uh... Like vampires. Vampires are very subtle nowadays, so it's hard to catch them. That... I'm sure that makes sense in your head. You know, I actually... I have a story about this. Literally, I'm not kidding about this. The other day, it was my girlfriend's brother's son's birthday. So we go there, uh... And I'm not really... I don't talk to his family a lot. I don't talk to most people a lot. You know how I am. And... We're about to leave, and then the brother brings up something. I forget. It was about, oh, the hills have eyes or something? No, it was about vampires. It's about vampires. And we had an argument for about five minutes as to whether or not vampires were real. What? Yeah. Yeah. He thought vampires exist? Not not necessarily exist. Existed. He said they don't exist anymore because they were all killed. But vampires at one point existed because he watched some stupid documentary about it or something it sounds like ancient aliens bullshit and his argument for (laughs) this is the worst his argument for why i was wrong is because people didn't used to think mutants existed either but then the hills have eyes happened and but no 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 he's voting for trump by the way I know from experience that our Halloween was carefully planned by Satan to accomplish several things. You you experienced Satan planning Halloween? Oh, yeah. He has a cape and everything. It was super weird. I kept trying to get him to not do the cape thing, but he would not listen. He is all about those capes. All about them. How does does Dick look? Uh, Not bad. It's actually pretty good, but not, not my favorite, but it's pretty great. Was it barbed like a cat? Yeah. First of all, you must understand that Satan is one of the most powerful and intelligent creatures God ever created, which... I have a a question about that, Okay, go ahead. Why? What the fuck, God? Yeah, he dropped the ball on that one, if I'm being totally honest. Yeah, like like minus 10 points from Gryffindor on that one. (laughs) He was once one of the greatest of all of God's angels, until he sinned by deciding he would become greater than God. Satan is our enemy. The thing I don't get about the whole Satan mythos, at least in, in mm-hmm. modern times. Okay, so Satan is one of the angels, right? And sure. he knows God intimately. He must know the workings of things. He must know that by design, at least as far as Christians convey uh, the ideas, that he cannot win against God. That's at least what Christians right. say. So yeah. he's an idiot then or christians if satan did exist are wrong and satan has a real shot at that shit you know what i mean it's one or the <laughs> other so either that doesn't make sense satan is either an idiot or he could be right there is no middle ground he i hate to bring up supernatural again but it's the only <laughs> show i know that references this sure. they argue uh and it's actually kind of brilliant writing that uh, God made all this shit and he was around for a little bit and then he just fucking disappeared. So Satan was just trying to beat the angels. Sure. Preacher does that too, actually. The right. Novel. That's a good idea. I think like, but, but it's the Superman problem. Once you have a super powerful thing that can't be destroyed, it, it makes the plot fucking very unsatisfying. Bible, get your goddamn plot together. Incidentally, how many of you believe Satan is alive today? Nobody does, Becky. That's old-fashioned superstition. This this doesn't take place in America, apparently. (laughs) I agree with Brenda. Me too. I can't buy this devil nonsense. You just did it. You all fell for it. What? I don't understand. You all believe witches, devils, and demons are just make-believe in a big joke only to appear on Halloween. This is exactly what Satan wants you to believe. 
This is exactly what someone with an agenda would say. No, this is it's Satan's agenda though. I don't have an agenda other than the one Wait. Ah oh, fuck. No, I'm 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 too deep now. Let's keep going. <laughs> if you think he doesn't exist, then you won't fight him. Satan's greatest desire is to hurt and destroy people. The children who are mutilated and murdered every Halloween are no accident. When has this happened? Uh just all the time, you know, all the times that the only the only thing I know of that does this is the Demi Gorgon. Stop. Stop. I can't. They're carefully planned sacrifices to Satan carried out by those who serve and worship him. To gain control of children's minds, witches make elaborate incantations calling forth demonic powers to attack these little ones. Their minds are influenced by these dark powers to alter their way of thinking. How do I shut her up? I hey should, hey should I kill her? Hey, respect kill her? the popcorn hair. You can hear me? Yeah. With my mind. The popcorn hair does that. It has psychic <laughs> psychic properties. I don't know. It's like reverse tinfoil yeah. hit. Are you saying little Susie and Jerry are under Satan's influence? She looks a little Asian, so I figured I'd just go full fuck it. I respect that. I respect that about you. Didn't you say they had changed? This is getting scary! I'm Don Knotts dressed like a lady! <laughs> the creative choices you make sometimes, I'm real proud of you. <laughs> I know. Just saying. It just, just happens, man. Jerry has changed! This is horrifying! There's no hope! Whoa! There is... I'm a fish! There is hope. <laughs> Sorry. It's the only Don Knotts thing I know besides the Andy Griffiths show. <laughs> there is hope. Someone is stronger than Satan. In fact, Satan will fall down before him and call him Lord. His name is Jesus Christ, the one who created the universe. I I prefer Korean Presbyterian Jesus. That's fine, as long as Jesus is in there. It's okay. Don't let him get behind the wheel of a car, but he, he's fine for saving you. I'm a Lutheran! Nope, that's not cool, though. Why? I don't know. Jack Chick kind of arbitrarily picks denominations that are Christian and which ones are. I'm assuming Lutherans he's against for some reason. I'm a Catholic. Nope, that's definitely not okay. You're a Nazi. But all of our men are Nazi. circumcised. <laughs> Jesus came to earth. Blah, 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 blah. Next panel. 20 minutes later, Becky leads in prayer. That was quick. Yeah, he, she's she's good at this. The popcorn hair knows how, knows how to work people over. Dear, Dear Jesus, Jesus, please, please forgive, forgive me, me and save, save me. me. It's a, I want <laughs> you as my Lord, Lord and Savior. Savior. Oh, cunt waffles. They're fucking retarded. I knew it. They were retarded. <laughs> She's destroying Halloween, too, which is my favorite time. It's the only time of year I get to do Winona Ryder doing her witch voice in episode four of Stranger Things, which is a Netflix series. It's the best thing she's ever done. And all she does is play Winona Ryder. She's just neurotic and smokes a lot and draws on her walls. Winona does all those things normally. She threatens a sales clerk at one point. Sounds normal. Standard rider. Now that you have made Jesus your Lord, you have his authority and power to deal with these demonic forces influence. Oh, it's like deputizing someone. <laughs> Jesus is too busy doing whatever now, he's doing, giving it. Now they can make a fucking citizen's arrest. Yeah. The local Chuck E. Cheese. Becky, our kids should come home from school. Will you be uh, praying with us for them? Uh, sure, I guess, if, uh... We are crazy taller than this car! Yeah, that's a short car. It's a lowrider. It's a they call weird me. They call me a, a, a cholo downtown. They do not call you a cholo. Oh, they call me a cholo. You bet! <laughs> <laughs> Way to tack it on! Yeah. Father, in Jesus' name, we ask you to remove the demonic power and influence from the lives of these precious little ones. Thank you, Lord, for cleansing these children. One month later... Jane, Susie is like herself again! So is Jerry! Thank God they're free from Satan's grip! 
and their names are written in heaven. Whoa! So, if they're just back to how they were before, then they would have been fine and didn't need Jesus unless they were given poison Halloween candy. Yeah, I think I think the, the main thing we have to, to look out for, I guess, is poise, Christians poisoning Halloween candy in order to save them. I guess. Honestly, that makes more but, sense. They would have more motive than the Satanists. Because Christians right. are like, oh, they don't need Jesus unless this happens. We better do it. Anyway. So, before we go, we actually have one more thing. And that's uh, Jack Chick on his website has Halloween tips. Because if you don't know, during Halloween, some evangelicals will give away Chick tracks as these... Instead of candy or in addition to candy. <laughs> so they have a guide, basically, of what you can do. And here are yeah. some of the things. Number one, tracks are great coloring books. Rap th- no, they're not. According to him, they are. So little kids can... Some, can, <laughs> some, some panels are just shaded full black. Yeah, um, they're going to need a lot of reds for some of those pages. Reds, yellows, oranges. Oh. Uh, oh. Maybe some blacks for the burning flesh. Wrap three crayons together and include them with a tract in a plastic bag. The young kids absolutely love and remember this unique gift. If if you're giving... Okay. If the kids are still excited about coloring, odds are they can't read yet. (laughs) Odds are there. Like, you have, like, a little bit, like, in first grade. Yeah. That's your sweet spot. Pretty much. Anyone else totally not going to be susceptible to your Christian wiles. (laughs) Two. Tracks... Rolls with candy. Take one tract, three round candies, and a rubber band them together, prepared ahead of time. <laughs> These are so easy what? to give up. And their example yeah, is Smarties. That, yeah, that doesn't look fucking sketchy. Yeah, and... Christ! This, why wouldn't you... Okay, if you're gonna do that, the first thing I thought of is, okay, tape it around a fucking roll of lifesavers. Sure. Okay, but you want you want to rubber band it around things that look like pills <laughs> you know kids do this thing where it makes it look like they're smoking the smarties now they like smash them up and then inhale it and uh the kids now do that yeah, uh maybe five years they were, ago they, were, they were doing that shit in the 90s oh were they i don't know i would never we were trail bra- we were trailblazers friend uh, i didn't have friends to teach me things so anyway fair enough Three, let kids grab candy and a tract. Fill a large bowl with candy and put tracks around the edge. This is a quick and easy way kids like to pick what they want. This is a good way to run out of candy and have all the tracks you had at the beginning of the night. <laughs> Why would they want a fucking track? Yeah. No. With, there's bowls of candy. Yeah. And then four, let the older kids pick. Put a variety of tracks on a tray and let them choose their favorites. Um, how would they know? <laughs> yeah. That's just a color title thing. Yeah. And then, uh, there's, uh, one more at the very bottom. It's just seven through nine, which is weird because they numbered the other ones and there's some other ones, but they're bullshit stupid. Uh, seven through nine. First one, dress as a Bible character. <laughs> so just a white person with a beard. They'd be like, oh, are you a Jedi? <laughs> this year I dressed up as Queen Esther well, I placed a tract in the bag. I said, I'm Queen Esther. I have a book in the Bible. Read it when you get home if you want to know my story. Incidentally, her story is about how her vagina prevented genocide. So, good for kids. One group of Christians with chick tracks went house to house, knocking on doors and saying, Trick or tract. Then no. handed the residents tracks. No. They reported great results. Everyone was home, everyone answered the door, and everyone gladly received the tracks. And by that, they mean, <laughs> clearly, you handed them, and the people went, oh, okay, thanks, and then closed the door, and were like, what no. the fuck was that about? This is, this is worse than when people give, like, floss and toothbrushes. The only people who are going to receptively receive these tracks and be like, oh, right, tracks are people who are already, like, all in on your shit, dude. I get, I get it. You want to sell them. I understand. This is a business for you. So if you're, you don't care who they're going to. I totally get it. Mad props. But for the people who Mad are buying props. these, no, no. Yeah, this isn't a good. This is no. I just. I can't believe to, it, 2016 took fucking uh 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 uh, uh Spock, and 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 the Star Man, and now 
and not Jack Chick. Jack Chick outlives these people. Like two years ago, Robin Williams is dead. What the fuck, 2016? What the fuck? Anyway. I'm just saying, if you if you if I'm there and kids get attract, fucking throwing it back at you. <laughs> like and I hope you get all sorts of paper cuts from it. It's it's not cool. Yeah. Fuck you. So Anyway, speaking of tracks, by the way, one of our most famous Chick Track readings was The Last Generation, and in it we created the iconic, the only Harold Penisman! Yes, and right now we're doing our uh, election process for Harold P. Penisman for president, and you can help support that by buying one of these awesome shirts. Yeah, there's uh, almost, I don't know if they sell out necessarily, but we're about to surpass the, the threshold that we were set out to make. But they're only available for the next, like, six days, maybe five. Uh, We're not selling these again for a very long time. So if you want a Harold Penisman shirt, this is the time to do it. Yeah. Uh, Hopefully we'll have some different stuff later. But the election shirt, it will make sense later. Yeah. So (laughs) you can also always follow us on Twitter at Bible Reloaded. You can follow Hugo at Hugo Reloaded. You can also subscribe to the channel and get more of this shit show. You can always. It's It's a better shit show than some other ones. Better than the shit show, like, Joey Salads puts up. Yeah, what a fucker. Fucking, fucking race-baiting piece of shit. Yeah. Anyways, we won't race-bait you. Yeah. We'll just masturbate you. you and all- that's a promise. You can also always donate to our Patreon campaign. We have a bunch of different stuff now for you. Signed tracks if you're at the $5 level. Buttons, stickers if you're at the $10 level. If you're at the $15 level, we have these cool 3D pop thingies. And uh, like that guy, and they're, yeah, and they're different every month, by the way. Yeah. So, I think that's it. Also, we're gonna do a live show soon for the Patreon people. We did indeedly do. Yeah, we'll let you know when we schedule it. Anyway, until next time, uh, Mayamo Ugo, Jake, Bible Reloaded. Is does this count as our Halloween episode? Ooh, ooh, ooh. we try. I'm Winona Ryder, which.